Hello and welcome to another Mac 7 tutorial. This is tutorial number 42, Jitter Effects, Adapting to an Effect. Well, welcome back. So here we were in our last tutorial proudly working with the brightness, I better lock my patcher here, with the brightness, the contrast, woo woo woo, that is not your father's contrast. That's negative contrast, positive contrast. Oh, that's great. And saturation, always interesting to go. That kind of is your father's uh, saturation there, black and white. Well, your father, meaning people my age, um, who remember black and white TVs vaguely. But let's not dwell on the past. Here we are. Moving toward the future quickly here. You know, one of the things I swear I am just going to do it right now is I'm going to unlock my patcher and I'm going to put a preset in here so that I don't have to spend too much time um, always readjusting these things back to zero. And you know what's really nice about a preset? Besides the fact that it might get you extra points on the next assignment in my class, is that you could say, hey, I really want this to be exactly or almost exactly at 1, although that'll never, 1.001, uh, 1.001, 1 1.001, 1 1 this is a good thing to do, people, good thing to do. And why would that be? Oh, it's close enough, and 1. So that's pretty much where the things are for Burkosa. And let's just shift and hit number one there. And that way, no matter how we screw things up, or if we decide we like something that looks like uh, that, let's say we wanted to get that look, we can just go shift number two. And now we got it. There's number one. There's number two. Beautiful. Number one, number two. Fantastic. Okay, enough of that. Oops, sorry. Let's get back to number one here. So. This video is primarily, if I ever get around to it, about just dealing with any old effect and how you can discover what the parameters are for an effect and how you can deal with them. So let's go and find a new effect. Burkosa was fun, but it's time to move on and unlock our patcher and unlock our minds and go get a file browser. And oh, it's already there. Here, we'll go back to the beginning so that I can make sure that you know how to get there. So if you're at home, go on down to packages. If it's all folded up already, just click it. It'll open up. You'll find jitter. And as soon as you click on jitter, you get that little filter up there. That's package jitter. Now we're only searching within there. And then just type the word special up there because we want to do something special. No, because for some weird reason, when I search for effects, it doesn't find them. But if I search for special, it does. So search for special. That's my special advice for you. And now I'm going to give you some more advice. I tried all turn, which is alternate, and it was just kind of clunky. So let's go with amoeba. Amoeba is a fun effect, and uh, we could we could do it a couple different ways. I am so lazy that I'm not even willing to get the spelling wrong, even though their spelling is wrong for amoeba, for those of you who ever had grade school uh, biology. Um, but A-M-E-B-A, I'm just going to go down here to the bottom and steal amoeba and copy it and then i'm just going to close this and go over here our patcher's unlocked click a couple times you can probably get there we go the burkosa highlighted and now i'm just going to paste in my amoeba and you suddenly look at it it's all amoeba e but that's great so how can we find out what the parameters are for amoeba? Well, the first and most obvious one is to um, 
get the help file for it. So I think that's control plus click for you PC people. I could be wrong with that. Um, but for Mac, it's option click and we get the help file. And there is the help file. I'm going to make the help file real big so you can see it. Oh, that is ridiculous. Okay. I'm going to make it real small again so that uh, you don't have to look at it in such a bizarre way. Okay. Let's just look at it this way. So there's, there's um, some very good clues here. We have X, Y, mode, and gain out in the help file. And we can sort of already see, you know, oh, that's some sort of picture. But look, X and Y are up around 40 or 60. Gain is one point, which means it's more or less like the things we were dealing with in per Burkosa, normally between 0, 0 0.0 and 1.0, but we can push that. And also mode. Sometimes mode doesn't change anything when you change it, but in this case it does. Ooh, that's kind of a nice change. So we might be tempted to find out just how far mode will go. You know, but we can already see. It's either 2, 1, or 0. All right, well, we can go with that. All right, so now we know X, Y, mode, and gain. And I'm going to put this away. Except to say that the other thing, since this is highlighted, and you might have noticed there, but now you can notice here, is that you can also just look over in the inspector, and it tells you those same things again. Um, I always have trouble getting this crazy thing to zoom here, but I'll just try anyway. Uh, it won't do it. Um, so here it says gain, here it says mode, and here it says X and Y. And if they're over here in the inspector, you can almost always use them as a uh, prefix, meaning you stick this in prepend. So let's go with gain, X, and Y. And we'll just come right over here. Get rid of that brightness. I'm going to say gain. I'm going to take contrast out. I'm going to say X. I'm going to take saturation out. I'm going to say Y. And what was the other thing we were talking about? I believe it was mode. And just to make it a little more fun, let's just say since it's mode and there's only three things, we can do something kooky like this. We could either say um, uh, I'm just I'm just trying to think of how to make it fun. Uh, radio group, there we go. And we'll make three. Um, where's that little thing? Number of items. Three. There we go. Remember back when you made the radio group for the multimodal music maker? Okay, so that's going to spit out a zero, a one, or a two. And then we'll say uh, new prepend mode. And then there's one other thing we've got to do here. And that is, well, let's, let's, uh, and that is that these sliders, um, I believe only go up to four and we saw them up at about 40 or 60 in the, in the example in help. So let's just lock this and, and see if what we believe is right. Here's gain. And so gain at about, at about five actually looks almost normal. And then the, this seems to be like, doesn't really know what to do with these numbers. Uh, I can't see it really having much of an effect on it because they're so small compared to 60, you know? So there we are all the way at three, which is the lowest number it went to in the help file. So let's um, unlock our patchers and select both of these. Uh, you can edit two objects at the same time. You'll only get the things that you can edit in both of them. And we're going to say that the range um, on this, let's just make it 100. And 
um, the minimum, let's just say, is 1. No, the range is 100. Output minimum is 1, so then it can go to 101. I don't think we need to float the output, so we'll uncheck that box. So there we go. Let's see what happens. And here we are back here. Oh, fun. Okay. Yes, this works much better. So now we've got exit 30 and y at, I know it's not at 30. It's hard. Okay, there we go. 30 and 30. And you see this nice checkerboard here? Let's see if gain changes that a whole lot. Oh, no. Oh, what is going on with that breakthrough color happening there? This is really trippy. Nice stuff. Well, let's see. What do we get? Oh, my goodness. Just the noise. The Really nice. Um, good thing to plan a quilt around. I wonder if we stop it. Does it stop? Yes, it does. There you go. You've got a. You've got the plans for your next uh, home quilting project. Awesome. And let's just check and see if our mode works here. There's. Oh, pretty. Woo! Oh my goodness, so nice. So that's um. What you can do. When you, yeah, look at that, you can make more and less. So you're pretty much, I think you're almost giving it the pixel dimension of each square. Because that square's, yeah, that's about right. So, very nice. And then you get down to the smaller numbers, they get smaller. Sweet. Really nice. Blurry. Really not blurry. Very crisp. Well, there you go. And um, of course, I wonder what this will, uh, this um, was left over from our presets from the other one, but now we can go in back and do the same thing. We can say, oh, I really liked that 1.6 gain at uh, 42 and 42 because 42 is such a cool number. And uh, we could even hook this to unlocking here to uh, to the mode switch and say I am totally digging this I am gonna save that shift click whoops sorry did, forgot to lock shift click you're just not gonna do it are you shift click so there's the first one there's the second one let's make sure and just change everything Oh, that is kind of nice, isn't it? So, well, that'll be our third preset. So we got that one. We got that one. We got that one. Nice. Well, people, that was brilliant and not even near as long as the last time that I recorded this. And it was, even by my standards, kind of slow. So uh, patch on people and I will see you in the next tutorial. Have fun.